Here, come fight me. I'm gonna fight you back. Get off of my vehicle. So we're back everybody for another round of Subnautica modded, our high tech version. You can see I have a lot of supplies going still. Actually, I've stocked back up a decent bit on titanium. Still a little low on gold and silver, but that's okay with the new Deep Driller Mark II mod version. Things are starting to pick back up. Also noticed that with the recent update, now I see a total number of items, three, four, five, six. I like that count number and how many I've got in use. But today we're not going to worry about that. Today I've got production going, so we're going to make use of that production and do some expanding on the base. But first, it was mentioned in a comment recently about the uh, problem with the breeding in the alien containments. And there's two variations of mods for this. There's the better ACU and there's the improved ACU. Improved ACU, you have to put plants down. It's actually stated in the description. You have to put plants in to make them feel comfortable so they start reproducing. Better ACU mod does not list anything like this, but just to cover all the bases, I have a couple of rotten bush, uh, bulb bush samples I'm gonna throw in there, and we'll see if that makes a difference at all today once they grow, if I start seeing some ampule legs or not. So I've got power pretty well covered on the base at the moment with all the thermal plants down below, of course, also our turbines. Uh, so we have basically going from here to there. That's our storage area, which I'm still thinking I might be okay with just that amount of storage on that floor. And it's, you know, ion cube generator, stuff like that. This is where the food and water stuff is now. And going into here where I want to have storage and an eating area. So this is going to become all glass windows, but we have to have more stuff. And this is actually where I'm now wishing I had the large room already available in the game from uh, below zero because I would totally throw just a big room right here and be set up for that. But we're going to add, actually I might have it line up. Yeah, we'll do like, we'll make it line up better. And just, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but we've got to do some, you know, some kind of research labs. Things like that, of course, have to be done with this. Let's go ahead and see if I get a few uh, platforms going so we can extend out further this way. At least before I build too much on top of them and I cannot build them. Again, what's going to be the food area? Actually, let's go ahead and start with the food style area because I know I'm going to have my sea breeze uh, moved into here because they'll interact with the control surface so I can just go to any of the terminals and get food drink out from there not have to worry about actually coming all the way over here uh you know it might be nice to have an aquarium in here it's kind of like just a decorative one and semi like insinuating this is the catch of the day you know fresh fish right here close on this side you know what and i had a custom color for it i'm gonna set that back and 41 gel sites you know what i've got a good idea just use them the same way I've been using them. Make a bunch of aerogel because the sea breeze does not count as being accessible in easy craft. So I'll just make a bunch of aerogel with it. That way, sorry, in my storage. And we'll go with a green for this one. So this is gonna be food and water. Water focused, food focused, which of course now I'm not gonna worry about collecting and putting in the gel sacks because the gel sacks can collect from one of these where they're at already. I'm actually going to turn this down to low again on these because I'm producing more than enough. I mean, you know, I, I need some water. Let's grab a couple of those. Munchy, munchy, a couple more. Look at that, back to full. So simple, so good right there. Let's try a decorative wall screen. This is new and oh. That, that doesn't look right. Uh, okay. All right, so problem with the decorative wall screen and the snapping mod, it doesn't, yeah, it, it flips out. Go orients the wrong way or to the wrong side of it. So there we go, we got decorative screen above our counter in case, you know, somebody needs to work on something. Uh, damage wall screen, yeah, we don't want that here. Keep the damage elsewhere. And you know what, let's just, 
Maybe. Maybe not there. Let's do another counter, because I want to do the small aquarium. I haven't used one of these small aquariums before. I'll throw it in there as kind of like, uh, this is the safe fish. This is the one that's not going to be eaten. It's not today's catch. And you know what? Food prep means somebody might get hurt, so we need, like, a first aid thing. Yeah, that's fine right here. So, you know, if you're prepping your food, perhaps using a knife, because we actually do have knives in the game, no other weapons, but we have knives. Maybe you cut your hand and you need a, a Band-Aid. Some cups, it's like small cup and then there's cup. We'll go and get a few cups first. No, actually, let's take this out. That looks interesting and maybe better suited for along the side over here, as opposed to on that wall. So we got that, and then instead on this side, actually there, there was, there we go. Throw this up there, not too high. We'll throw that in there, and so we got some. We got to put some napkins down because you know you might, you know, even in the future they've got to wipe their mouths. Yeah, those are some small, small glasses. That's all right. Maybe that's not a shot cup. That's like a, you know, whiskey on the rocks type of thing. And that's a shooter. There's definitely some alcohol intended for this. Uh, I need some Reginalds to cure. Uh, disinfected water is not a problem. I got a few of those. We need some cured peeper too. Uh, bar bottle. Well, it's not a problem except for the fact that, again, the sea breeze does not cooperate with the easy craft mod and we'll just do that for now because i i've got plenty of water and plenty of quartz so i'll get some more of those we'll just have them where we'll do like it's like a stock uh setup so that's like multiple ones uh might throw some like nutrient blocks on the table or something so i'm going to throw like even though they're really more for the chemistry part Fluid analyzer and the little chemistry set, test tube, sample analyzer. So it kind of looks like we might be doing some prep work, some cleanup work. And let's do, oh yeah, these are definitely bigger than I remember. So we'll do, actually I'll throw one of these in here and the we'll stick with the smaller ones uh, if I can get it. Nah. Again, can't deselect. Okay, so that could be like a food bowl. We can treat that like it's a food bowl type uh, design. And then like a normal drink cup, because that looks a little bit more like a normal size <laughs> drinking glass. Uh, maybe it's just the, I think our hand in this is bigger than it actually should be. But look at that, it looks like that would be almost a glass. And those are for liquor. Those, those are for the alcoholic drinks. That's for the normal drinks. And we'll throw a PDA on here just for the fact that it's got decorations mod mentioned on there. <laughs> Plus, it's nice to have a PDA. Of course, we've got to throw some bottled water on here. So we'll do just the large filtered water. Yes, right, yep. And you know what, actually, Let's take that out after all uh, get it out of my troll well, since this is a fluid analyzer we'll throw it here like that and we're gonna throw wherever it is mr. coffee up on the wall so either I am totally blind and missing it or I don't have a mr. coffee unlocked I am missing the coffee machine but I do have decorative wall planter so let's throw that in here so I have a little bit of greenery on one wall and yeah we'll get Mr. Coffee at some point unlocked and put him there and uh, you know what since we're going to be making a little little delay there getting a little uh, frame rate loss since we're going to do the meals and stuff like that from here where I need cured peeper and cured reginals I need some peeper and Reginalds for making these. Also, need to put some in the uh, aquarium there. So that's catch of the day. 
All right, I'm going to try and catch as many as I can using the claw arm. Even though there is a little delay, you know, when you're trying to grab something. So, so it doesn't always work very well when they get spooked. But, you know, I'm, I'm doing fine so far. So, apparently fish do not auto-extract into data storage. Uh, there we go. We've got four Reginals, four Peepers. And for this, I went fancier. I grabbed some Oculus while I was out. And there we go. We got a little Oculus. He could just, you know, hang out, look at, you know, people eating his cousins. So, we'll put, you know what, one of the trays there. And, of course, now I can't deselect it. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's getting frustrating. You know what? I'm just going to take all of these out the list. So I've learned my lesson. Before putting anything else in, we're doing windows all around. And now we've got to have our bar tables, which fortunately the easy snap mod is making it super easy or snap to build mod makes it really easy to just snap them right into place. And you know what? Let's mix it up. We'll do some bar stools uh, on a couple of these. So, you know, it's not all just swivel chairs. Maybe somebody wants a bar stool to sit on instead of a swivel chair. Gotta have drinks to go with these. So we'll mix in some filter water because, you know, we're producing filter water here. I'm not going to worry about the distilled water for any of the decoration because it's not like we need to produce it. We've got filtered water. We've got better. So why go with the inferior option? I am going to add some drinking glasses. And I'm talking about the small drinking glasses. Gotta have napkins on each table. And so now we're gonna throw drinking glasses on some of these. Let's see, we got, yep, yeah, over here. Drinking glass. And so everybody's got a drink. Now I need to fill in the corners somehow. I would like to see a taller table. Is that, yes, it's a bar table. But it's also good for sitting with this. I'd like to see a taller one or a bar counter something that actually has like an open space it's just like a counter itself kind of similar to uh let's see where is the shelf maybe something like that visually like a little bit longer and has a you know set of legs on these sides but is basically open looking underneath that could be a cool addition to have it's just so you have like this bar style counter maybe it's meant to have the bar tables or bar chairs up against it's a lab cart but we'll throw it on here anyway just because uh you know condiment cart you know you might have ketchup mustard mayonnaise things like that little, little packets there sure we're in the future we're trying to be eco-friendly but maybe you know society just still likes disposable condiments Oh, I can't place it under there, but I can place on top. But it looks funny. It's actually like, I think it's placing. Yeah, it's placing sideways on it. Yeah, like that. All right, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, go with the wall. Control terminal. There we go. Based around our vehicle upgrade console. You come up here, you got this. You got the little eye kind of thing. Now, I need to move that up a little bit. Much better. Let's see. What else can we build? Scientific-y looking. Uh, oh, you know, picture frame. Uh, today's menu. Yeah, sure. That, that could be it. I, I mean, I'm assuming in a place like this, it would be the same menu regardless. Now, let's put it right there. Yeah, because that, that'll work. Um, oh, can, we, can we do it like this? It's customizable. So, yeah, if we just do the um, F like that, yeah, poster mode. So it still shows like a frame so we don't lose it. And I'll just have to, you know, figure out a way to make a picture for it. Well, at least I have a use for all the salt deposits I'm going to get from my water filtration. Uh, instead of like, having to go grab it, I could just been making them. Yeah, so, oh, it's speckled rattler spore, same thing. You know, just make them really quick. We'll start with one of the perennial alien trees. 
love how it's got, you know, food and water value of so little. Because, you know, you're eating a tree. Uh, so we'll let that grow. I want to see how well that fits in that position in terms of the branches extending outwards. And then if it works, I'll plant the other ones. Well, my plants have grown in. And I'm still seeing no ampule eggs. At all. Just the four ampules I've already hatched. So, yeah, it's again, improved ACU is the mod that has that mentioned. Better ACU does not mention having to have plants to make them feel happy. Uh, and better ACU mod seems to be breaking right now the breeding of creatures. And if it doesn't get fit soon, I'm just going to take it out because I'm not really using a bioreactor. I just put it in because it applies power production and storage from each ampule. Oh yeah, 61 titanium. I love that it's left click to collect it from there as opposed to right click, you know, to transfer like everything else in this one, just for the fact that I can quickly collect everything using my little rapid fire button. Oh, you can actually see the oil has dropped on it a bit. There's actually, I mean, it's actually lowered now. Since I am missing stuff, uh, it's time, I guess, to take the Cyclops out again. Let's head to the other Degazi base, the Deep Grand Reef one, because I haven't been there yet. There's some unlocks there. Maybe grab some stuff along the way uh, and then come back to even more supplies being produced. All right, here we go. We are in and there we go. Right off the bat, sonar. Super helpful, actually. Uh, definitely need it added to below zero at this point. Because it still hasn't been added. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, uh, wrong one. Put him to surface. Not yet. Oh, yeah. that. There. Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, better. Here. You're going to fight me. I'm going to fight you back. Get off of my vehicle. PDA, we got our drink bottles that I can make already and not have to collect them. Coffee machine, is what I was needing. Gotta have our Mr. Coffee. Data box, what do we get? Shield generator, oh yeah, gonna be making that very soon. Breach your egg. Gotta scan the boomerang that snuck in here. Hey, where are you going? I'm back here, there we go. Pick these up for later use. But I can't pick up all of those as well. Orange tablet. All right. Shield generator. Uh, auto parasite remover. Yep. Got that. Uh, we're going to have to make that one. And honestly, I could do it right now if I really want to. Uh, just by turning that on. But I'm not going to worry about that. That can be done later. And by making it later... I mean, shield generator. I mean, right now, because you know what? I kind of uh, decided to make a detour into the dunes. Now, let's just shut this down. See if he'll leave me alone for a moment. At least the auto zapper kept him away. But of course, I need a power cell, and all my spare power cells that I don't need now are sitting in a regular container, and I can't pull them from here. I guess I'm going to move that into a server setup when I get back. And there we go. Shield generator in place. And that's turned off. So how much did I use? I was at 98. I went down 3% for the fabrication and running the uh the fab well the data storage access. And of course we've got to visit this one in the mushroom forest right next to the big tree. Uh, God check out this wreck. I'm pretty sure I've already got everything from it, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm getting hungry and especially thirsty. So let me show you one of the coolest aspects of having the data storage mod and the hydroponic mod. I can just grab all my food from the base this way and eat it and bam, look at that. I don't even have to worry about now having food production in here. Once everything's set up, I can move all that out and just remotely grab my supplies as needed. Okay, PDA, yep. Um, let's see, was there anything down here? Need 
I mean, I'm sure there's stuff all around, but I don't think I have anything that is super critical I'll need from here still. Yeah, I was right. There's really not much else I need from here. I've already got pretty much everything. Nothing major. All the stuff that I might need, and at one point, I've already taken care of everywhere else, so. Let's move on, head on back to the base. Oh yeah, back at the base with plenty of supplies waiting for me. And for some reason, this one keeps collecting titanium, even though I have titanium turned off. And I've even turned it back on and back off, turned the filters back on and back off, and it still keeps collecting titanium for some reason. Batteries, we'll toss that in. That's 48 spots for batteries. I'm pretty sure 48's enough for what I need in terms of my storage. Rule number one, do not put them in if they're empty. That's gonna be the rule for everybody at the base. You gotta put them in fully charged. All right, there's the tree. It is kind of going into the ceiling, which I expected, but that position, it does not seem to be sticking through the glass in any way. So I can do three trees like that, or we could pick a different plant. And while I'm thinking about trees, decorative plants, why not go ahead and set up a few decorative planter beds for the purpose of just having decorative plants. I might still do a, a set of creep vine C cluster ones just for the lighting, but at the same time, I'm focusing more on just the regular electric lights, which also works perfectly well in this situation. And I'm actually out of salt now. <laughs> wow, okay, so, uh, yeah, used to be we used ion cubes for this, which obviously is expensive if you're not using the ion cube generator, whether it's the normal one in the game, or, you know, the one, the mod, but yeah, I, I need more salt now so I grabbed some salt and fortunately because this needs 10 so we got the mushroom tree and then we got the giant mushroom tree I feel like I want to do one giant mushroom tree and I'm trying to find the cove tree I'm thinking I haven't unlocked yet because I didn't actually go scan it I don't think I, I can't remember I don't think I scanned it yet oops did not mean to do that well, we could throw in this one, and we'll see how it looks when it grows up. And we gotta do a jelly shroom spore. We gotta have something like that. That's That's got, like, an interesting look. And I'm out of salt again. So, 13% growth on that. 28% growth on that. That's going to take a little while. But it looks like it's actually gonna get pretty decently large. I mean, if that's 13%, that should grow fairly big. Two more finishing touches on this room. Uh, oh man, actually I don't even have room for it. Let, let's just do it right here and I won't build another sea breeze for a little while. Right, let me take that back. We go keep calm. As you know, you want to keep calm when you're down in this kind of place. And we'll put that there. So, you know, it doesn't have anything in it, but we can assume that it'd be kind of like a display thing for you know, quick grab foods like sandwiches and little plastic containers. Like, oh yeah, come in here, grab a sandwich, climb up, have a snack. So I can't remember exactly what the count was, but I was like 1,300 something items, I think, at the beginning of this video. And now I'm almost at 1,700. And that's with me using supplies while I was going out. So that's how much I'm getting from the deep drillers, but also what I grabbed while I was out. Also, what's being produced by the hydroponic trays, all of them, I think, are maxed out now. Uh, so just a lot of production going on. The uh, one thing that I'm hoping is in the future plans with FC Studios is some kind of tie-in, I guess, with the alien Katamia or something, if there's not already one out there, for automatically harvesting stalker teeth from stalkers in containment. If not already there, and not already in their plans, then FC Studios, there's a new idea for you. But you know what? We got plenty of stuff done. I've got a new section done. We got the food area done on this, and I've got plenty of supplies going, so we'll be able to keep ramping up, doing more builds, 
but that's the general like you know the kitchen type area and our dining area with our trees starting to you know still growing in so it's, it's looking up we've got a nice view I'm going to be adding some decorative plants over there I might do some decorative plants down there just because you're sitting here you know like this you might be like hey you know I want to take a look at well I'm facing the wrong way but you know might want to be able to look outside and see some nice plants so We'll be doing some more decorations with it, but as of now, that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any ideas you would like to see in the future in terms of decorations, design type stuff, and I can see why I can incorporate in the future. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.